So joining me now is Jessica Inskip, director of product over at Options Play. Jessica, there's a lot of folks out there. There are a lot of folks out there who hope that you're right because those mega cap technology names are so important to this market. Why the bull case for the Nasdaq? And absolutely. And it's all from a technical perspective, which, of course, could be driven by fundamentals. But the, the market's fueled by tech. It leads to the rallies, the bear market rallies, the declines. And consistently, when the market's running on E, gets that refill around earnings from tech. So Index has some, it's stuck really between two key milestones. One is the January 30th high of 12,880. I want to see that overcome, which is now its old resistance and support. So we've seen that tested today. NDX is, is really validating that support. Next, the second milestone is the late gap in August that was formed from 13,175 to 13,210. We need to see that overcome in order to, to have more of a bullish case. So right now I see it stuck in between those, t, those two key bull milestones and kind of range bound until we can break above that 13,175, we'll call it 13,200 level. And more importantly, when I, I look at a broader picture of a chart is I look at for the trading cycle. Is there a bull base forming, where is the trend? And NDX has consistent closes above the 26 and the 40 weekly moving averages. So I look where is the security above and below those averages in addition to the slope of that line. And as prices are increasing, we see an upward slope. So that tells me that there's a bullish base forming, which which really validates a larger view that we support this level where we're at right now and have continuous momentum to go upwards, which, of course, is focusing on earnings. All right. So, Jessica, that begs the question. That's the index level. There have to be stocks with good patterns and bullish patterns forming that are going to drive some of that index performance. What's the most compelling bull case to you in that Nasdaq 100 trade? So the, the, the bull I want to pull is, is Microsoft. Microsoft, you know, that AI is, is certainly all of the frenzy and, and overhype, but let's look at it from a technical perspective. There are a really big bullish milestone ahead. Their trading cycle is absolutely bullish. We've got that milestone of 292, which is the mid-August lower high. If we overcome that, then we can go to about a, a little above 300, about 312. And what's important is that gap that we just talked about with NDX that it needs to fill in order to have more of a bullish base case. Microsoft is one step ahead and already filled that gap. And now we're on to the next milestone, which would be a March 2022 high, which is insane to absolutely even think about right now within this current environment. And the trading cycle, of course, just like we were looking at with, with NASDAQ and all the charts, consistent closes above the 26 and 40 tell me that quarter over quarter, we have an increase in prices. So therefore, that, su that supports a, a solid base in a bull case, giving us bullish momentum. All right. So there's the bullish momentum, and it's a big factor. It's a, one of the biggest companies out there and the biggest weighting. Let's talk about where there is the flagging element, where there could be a big drag, what, what are the charts showing for the kind of bear case or what stocks are going to have the most in terms of headwinds? And that's from looking at Amazon, which technically falls under consumer discretionary. Um, there is another significant resistance ahead, but their trading cycle is actually an immediate near-term bearish, which tells me that it doesn't have momentum that it needs to get to that trading cycle. If you take a look at the chart, we look at the, again, 26 and 40 week. Now you see that this is a step behind the NDX. We've closed above the 26 weekly moving average, which now becomes our support level, but we're having difficulty going above the 40 weekly. So I'm looking for consistent closes above that in addition to price increase to have a bullish case, this absolutely has the inverse. So as I see the downward slope, I suspect that Amazon has some short-term momentum to get to that, that um, 106, 40-weekly moving average before it retracts down and will probably race to support around 96, which is the 26 weekly, and that could even trigger the earlier lows around 88. Now, what I think is really interesting is a different type of chart is we've been talking about absolute charts. Relative charts will give me a more early indication. So how is the security performing versus the broader market or perhaps even its sector? In this case, we look at Amazon versus the S&P 500. You see this clear downwards trend line, which supports there's there's some movement to go up to that trend line, but we have not even come close to, to even surpassing that. So that tells me and supports that case of we'll probably have some near-term momentum to that 106 level and sure. then retrace and race back down.